the gallery. It was a white group. And probably the first Afro-American that had a label that ever, you know, had a white group that was big. The gallery had a record called It's So Nice to Be With You, number one. Dead as Coffee, white instrumental guy, guitarist. Scorpio, huge record. Wednesday, white group. Don't ask me, rock and you know, just, I assigned talent. But obviously, like in any label, uh, Bill Withers became the major star. And his songs to me were very tailored to just plain common sense thinking when you listen to him. Uh, when he came to see me, um, it took me almost a year to find somebody that would want to produce him. Because I remember sending his music to a gentleman that was producing the Fifth Dimensions, Bones Howell, I think his name was. And he kept the record for at least, uh, kept the tunes for at least five to six months. And he finally called back and said, I can't hear it. Now, Bill was to me a very kind of folksy, but yet and still his lyrics just made so much sense. So I called a friend of mine. Al Bell, Stax Records, and I said, I got to have Booker T. Booker T. Booker T is the guy who produced Booker T DMG. He, he, he was the leader of that group. So Booker T came out, met with Bill, and he produced the first album, Just As I Am. After that, Bill did his own producing. He did his album covers, did his Lionel notes. He did everything. You might say a complete artist with an attitude. Uh, the gallery was from the Detroit area. Uh, they were produced by two young producers. Uh, Mike Theodore and Dennis Coffey. Both white. You see, I'm not racist, because money is just money. <laughs> so they brought me acts like Wednesday, another white group called Yoko from Canada, uh, and a couple of more. But Dennis Coffey. I think Dennis Coffey probably made, his biggest record with me was a Scorpio. He probably made three, uh, back in those days there were albums, three albums for me, at least, I would say three or four. And they even moved to California. But unfortunately, you know, um, there was something called money. And I ran out of money, you know. So Sussex Records was in business for about five years, maybe five and a half. But while I had Sussex Records, I decided to uh, expand my whatever, and I bought a radio station. A local radio station it was in Eaglewood. When I bought it, I changed its name. I forgot what the call letters for, but I changed its names to Avant Garde Broadcasting, K A G B. So, with all of that, that's the first part of the music industry. Now, that went, now I must tell you, so it can come to a close right. Uh, I lost both the radio station and Sussex Records.